Good evening, everyone, and welcome to San Diego State University. My name is Shannon Keitler, I'm the Director of Bands here at San Diego State, and I have the extreme honor to welcome you here to our courtyard, our Frank, the Lee, uh, Lee Frank Goldberg Courtyard, for our symphonic band concert shared with Baltimore High School and featured the graduate conducting recital for your own, Mr. Adam Mesdek. Uh, this is a lot of work to put all of this together, and uh, it happens with so many moving pieces, and we're so excited to have it happen this week. You're going to hear three different portions of tonight's concert. We'll have the Valhalla High School group, and then we'll have a stage change. San Diego State University Symphonic Band will come up, and then finally we'll get to end with a combined piece by both groups. It's such a great opportunity for us to have somebody like Mr. Pesdek come and study because he's able to get a master's degree while still keeping his job. And in teaching, that's a fantastic opportunity because there's pay scale things involved with that, I know. But there's also the opportunity to really learn and take in um, just the higher ed culture and the, talking about the band world. And I can say in my two years working with Mr. Pesdek, it's been a pleasure just to have lessons with him and talking about the field, about the field of wind conducting and band directing, um, and it's just been an absolute pleasure to have on. So you're all very lucky to have him with Valhalla. Uh, I was out last week working with the bands, doing wonderful things. You guys sound great. I'm excited to hear you this evening. So we hope you enjoy this concert. It's a little quiet on campus because we are officially on spring break here at SDSU. As of right now, the only way students are pretty short. So welcome. We hope you enjoy this evening's concert. Without any further ado, please help us welcome to the podium for his master's conducting recital at San Diego State University, Mr. Adam Pesdek.
Well, thank you for coming out on a Friday afternoon, evening. It's wonderful out here. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Another round of applause for these kids. Today, a number of these, these students got to conduct the uh, San Diego State Symphonic Band, and I'm sure that was very fun for them, a little intimidating, sometimes uh, uh, they had some unique experiences up there, and then we uh, let them roam the campus for a few hours, and then we brought them all back, had a quick rehearsal, and then we threw them up on stage, so they've been kind of the last hour or so in a bit of a whirlwind. That very first piece that we played was called Flourish for Wind Band by a very uh, traditional, kind of a, a core wind band composer named Ray Barn Williams. He's a British composer. He wrote that in the early 1900s. It was first performed at the Royal Albert Hall. Incidentally, the other night I was binging out on YouTube when I couldn't sleep, and I watched an entire concert by the Las Vegas rock band, The Killers, live at the Royal Albert Hall. And it was just interesting to think that over a hundred years ago, there was a wind band, a symphonic wind band playing flourish for wind band in the Royal Albert Hall, and now the Killers is playing in the Royal Albert Hall. So that was a interesting turn of events and just a neat, neat way to see the way that music progresses and venues uh, uh, cater themselves to different styles of music. But that was that first piece, flourish for wind band by Vaughn Williams. The second piece that we just played uh, was called Festivo, written by a, an American composer named Bachlock Nelly Bell. He, he passed away a few years back, but he was a, uh, he's written a lot of music for wind band that spans all different ability levels. He's written for beginning bands, for intermediate bands, and he's written for collegiate professional bands as well. Um, right, so it's, it's nice to have a composer that can write at all levels. And when we started learning this piece, um, if you kind of tell, it's kind of rhythmic, um, and it kind of had the woodwinds fighting against the brass quite a bit, it's kind of antagonistic. And uh, the, the kids did, half of them hated it, half of them liked it. And uh, who, who hates it? Raise your hand if you hate it. All right, so there's, there's, there's okay, a couple, all right, Frank, all right. Yeah, raise your hand high, Go your hate. Yeah, use your hate, all right, yeah. all right, there you go. All right, who likes it, who likes it? All right, well, the ratio was a little different when we first started, but I think as we worked on it, that ratio changed a bit. But I'm gonna have Tucker here tell us why he didn't like it. Repetitive and boring, safe in the horse's mouth. All right, uh, who, who liked it? Robbie, stand up and yell, uh, tell us here why you liked it. Uh, I liked it mostly because of the dynamics and mostly because of the trumpet parts. They are very rhythmic and they're very like loud. I mean, you know, trumpets are loud. But uh, at the start, I did not like this piece at all, but it grew on me after I listened to it 50 times and practiced it in my room. <laughs> Alright, so he's a, he's a convert on the dark side and the light side. <laughs>